Okay, so I'm going to use a little different method to attach these, this bed. Um, instead of going ahead and screwing everything together in the first place, what I'm going to have to do is just go ahead and slide the nuts on the inside first. And this is because these pieces fit really, really tightly together. So what you want to do is just go ahead and just fish around and curse until you get it right. Um, trust me, once you get this bed in place, you're going to love it. It's a lot more stable than the other castle bed. So, there we go. There we go. And just sort of finagle it into place, like I said. And what I've done is I've turned these corners off. As you can see, I used to have dog ears on both sides in my original design. It also didn't have the recessed heads, which caused a problem. But your probe is going to hit right next to that. And so that's why I trimmed off the dog ears on the top. But as you can see, I mean, that's firmly attached. You're not going to have any problems with that moving around. Now later on we're going to go ahead and put springs on this, but I just wanted to demonstrate that this is going to give you the clearance that you need to put a heated bed underneath there, um, and it's very sturdy. Now I'll do a separate video later on that shows how we attach the leveling bed that we can, we can screw we're going to use lock nuts and a hex head that slides in here and a spring. And what this is going to allow us to do is to tilt the bed in any manner we choose in case our auto leveling routine is a little off. So we're going to go ahead and move to the top. And we're going to get the top done and then we're going to attach the two.